I'm going to show you real quick how you can take a PowerPoint slide with a lot of different moving parts that you might want yourself or the kids to type on without messing up the formatting of the slide and make the background lockable. So the first thing I'm going to do once I have my slide set is I'm going to take a screenshot of it. So in short, what we're going to do is take the screenshot, take the picture of the slide and set it as the background of our new slide. So I will first open up Snip and Sketch, choose New. I'm going to be real careful to line this up corner to corner here. Pretty even. Take a screenshot of it. Now what I can do is I, from here I could choose to save it to my OneDrive so I have that image to use for anything I need. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to hit Copy. I'm going to go to a blank slide, right-click, Format Background, and then click on Picture or Texture Fill. If I had the picture saved on my OneDrive, this is where I'd pull it from, File button. Uh, but I'm just going to click on Clipboard because anytime you copy something, the most recent thing you've copied goes on your clipboard. So you click on it right there, and there it is completely locked in place. If you have any questions about this, let me know.